What's up, YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reconnect a cut extension cord. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of these how to uh, household projects and automotive. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to strip the outside insulation from both ends of our cord. You just go ahead and snip up here at the top, make a line with our scissors or razor blade. Careful not to go too deep because you don't want to damage the insulation on the wire. But you can just put a seam in like that. We'll just widen it up. Let's take about this much down here. Pull it apart. We'll cut off the rest. Get that out of the way. Okay, now we've got our three wires. So I've already done the other side and I've made the three different lengths and I'm going to do the opposite lengths on this side. So I'll make the black one the shortest and the green one the longest. You'll see in a minute why. Cut the white one. Okay, so I've got the lengths all matched up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take off the insulation of the individual wires and you just do that by lightly using your wire cutters or scissors and you pull it off without clamping down all the way through. We're going to want to leave around a quarter inch or so off the ends. Just kind of pull the insulation off. Don't want to cut the wires off with it. There we go. Then we'll give the copper wire a twist. Now you're going to want to get some of these, some butt connectors. I'll go ahead and put some links in the description to all the stuff I use. But these are what we're going to be using to connect the two together. So let's do our green one first. Slip the wire into the butt connector. It goes into a metal tube. There we go. And we're going to take our wire cutters that have the crimpers right here. And you're going to put it on like that. And you see that little thing that's going to crimp it down. We just clamp it down a little bit. Now that's crimped it down, the metal inside. Now it's nice and tight. Then we're going to do the opposite side. Push that into the metal hole on that side. Make sure it's all the way in. We'll do the same thing. Give it a squeeze. And then after you're done crimping, always just give it a little tug on each side to make sure you got them in good. Alright, I'll finish up the rest of these. Alright, so I got them all three crimped down. But So I offset it like this so when we go to take our electrical tape it won't be all big and bulky. Plus the wires won't ever have a chance to hit each other. So we'll take our electrical tape now and we're going to wrap all this up. Cover it up so it's nice and waterproof. Alright, let me finish this up. All right, now we've got that cut all patched up and it's nice and thin and not all bulky. All right, there we go guys, and that's how to patch an extension cord. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my page, um, my other videos, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY, guys. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care. Be safe.